Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create packages in Java. To create a package in Java, you need to right click on the source folder to go under new and then create a package. The names of the packages could be a single word, but if you want to create folders and subfolders, you can use periods. So for example, if I create a single word package by typing chapter 11 here and hit finish, it will create a single word folder inside my source folder. However, if I want to create a package traditionally with multiple folders, for example, if I want to create my commercial package of Java for 2021A, I could basically type something like this. The names of the packages cannot start with a number. So if you want to start a package which includes number, you still have to follow the same convention of starting it with a letter and then followed by numbers. Now let's hit OK. And I will going to be teaching you one more item. If you ever want to rename a package, you can simply right click on the name of the package and choose rename. And that allows you to rename your package. and upon clicking OK, it renames the package. Now let me create one class under Chapter 11, and then I'm going to be creating another class under A2021. So let me create my first class under Chapter 11 called Employee. No public static void main. And as you notice, since this class is created inside a package, it automatically adds the word package Chapter 11. This class has one property and I will hover over the property to generate getters and setters. I'll save the changes. My class is ready. Now I will go under A2021 to create my next class. This class is full-time employee and it will be child of employee class. To make that happen, under super class, I may, I'm going to click the browse button. Then I'll type employee. And as you can see, it automatically figures out that the employee belongs to Chapter 11 package. So if I click OK, it automatically adds a package name with a class name and hit finish. And now it automatically adds the extends keyword to show this is a child and this is the parent class. And the parent belongs to this package. So we are importing it and the child is in a package com Java A2021. Now I can create a property here. And then I can hover over the property to generate getters and setters. Once the getters and setters are generated, now we will test this outside of both packages in the main default package. And we will be creating a class called demo EMP FT. And this will be a main method. If I create an object of employee class, it will give me an error because it doesn't understand where employee class is located. So I need to import the package. To import the package, I can simply click the source menu and click on organize imports where I could use a keyboard shortcut of control shift O. Either way, it adds the import and it understands the class. Same goes for my other class, which I created in com.java FT employee. So if I type FT employee again, it doesn't understand what FT employee is. Until I hover over and I can use import and now it understands. Now we can call the getters and the setters in each one of them. As you can see with E2, I have access to both set EID and set salary. 
and with E1 I only have access to set EID. Because the child instance has access to all the parent instances, uh, all, all the parent methods. And now similarly we can call the getters for each one of them. And now let's run this and you will see that the employee E1 123 and employee E2 456 and here is the salary of employee E2. So hopefully with this short tutorial it will have helped you understand how to create packages in Java, how to create sub packages in Java and also how you can call those classes which are located in different packages within other packages also in your default package. All you need is a proper import statement. Within Eclipse you could generate a lot of this code as I've shown you in this tutorial and in the previous ones on the fly and that will help you write your code faster more efficiently. Why do we create these packages? These packages are generally created to organize your contents. So if you have a lot of classes, and usually we do within a project, so in order for putting them all inside the main source folder, we are better off putting them in different uh, packages, and then we can call classes from those packages. Exactly on the same principle, Java packages are created. So if a package name starts with Java, it's from the original Java. Java X is the extension Java. And now we have Java FX packages, which are from the Java FX folder. So hopefully uh, this will give you an idea that whenever you look at these packages name, it uh, will help you understand why these packages are named that way. Also, there are some third party commercial packages which start with COMCOM. Uh, we have some IBM packages that we have used when we were talking to the database from the IBM. We have tutorials on that as well. So anyway, um, check out all of these tutorials and more on this channel. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. And if you have any questions related to Java or any of the other programming languages that you're learning, uh, don't forget to write in the comment section so that I can make more videos on your questions. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.